Hi, in this video, we will refer to the simple conditional if statement. As you can see on the agenda, we'll locate it in the software, then offer a short description on how to use it with a quick and straightforward first example, while also giving a real-life solution in the second one. To find it, you'll need to go to the Functions tab, press All Functions, and in the Functions list, go to Piecewise Continuous. It's right here. If you hover over it, it informs you on what it does. Now for the description. Count is the condition to specify. If it's met, then x is returned. If not, we get y. Count is an expression typically involving a Boolean operator. x and y are arbitrary numbers, arrays, strings or functions. Let's see the first example. By pressing if and bracket, you can start using it. We mentioned the condition x greater than 5, which returns 1 if it's true and 0 if false. We need to define x and we'll give it a value of 10. When we evaluate if, the result will be 1. And it's easy to check that visually. If we change 10 to a value of 2 and click in the worksheet, the result is being automatically updated. In the following example, we check the condition against a required threshold with units. We define some calculated pressures saying P1 is going to be 350 pounds per square inch, then P2 is going to be 400 psi and P3 to be 575 psi. We also need to define a maximum pressure which is Pmax to be 500 psi. Now, let's make the check. We add the if, and here we are going to use the logical and. So, if P1 and P2 and P3 is less than Pmax, then we'll get a message saying it passes. Otherwise, it shouldn't return that one or more pressure values did not pass. Let's evaluate this. We get the second message. Again, it's easy to see why, since P3 is higher than the maximum pressure. If we had a large table with many values, it would not be so easy to visualize it. Then we can use this if statement. As a side note, we should mention that this if is different from the if programming construct located on the math tab in the programming panel. This is a little bit more sophisticated, yet still as intuitive. The if statement from the programming panel provides more flexibility and allows you to build programs that check more conditions with additional branches and layers in the logic.